presented by Dean Formatics. Standard Sixth. Lesson number four. Creating a new presentation. PowerPoint files are called presentations. To start a new project in PowerPoint, you need to create a new presentation, which can either be blank or template. To create new presentation, Select on File tab. Backstage view will get open. Select New. Then click on Blank Presentation. A new blank presentation will appear on your screen. When you create a new presentation, the first slide to appear is a title slide. It contains two placeholders a title placeholder and a subtitle placeholder to add text in slide click within the placeholder and type for adding text in title click the mouse pointer on the placeholder written as click to add title type the title ICT Click the mouse pointer outside the placeholder. For entering the presentation subtitle, click the mouse pointer on the placeholder written as click to add subtitle. Type Information Communication Technology and then click the mouse pointer outside the placeholder. Formatting the slide PowerPoint provides a wide variety of themes that apply a distinctive look to the text, bullets, background colors, and graphics in a presentation. themes. It enables user to add a professional touch to the presentation and also saves time. User can apply a theme while creating a new presentation and user can change the theme as many times based on requirement of project. To apply a theme, click on the design tab. Select one of the themes from the themes group. Click on the dialog box launcher to see more themes. To format text, click within the placeholder. Select the text to format. Click on the Home tab. Click on the formatting buttons in either the font or paragraph groups. You can also use the mini toolbar that appears when the text is selected. For changing the text style, click the title placeholder once to get the insertion point inside it. Triple click to select the entire text inside the title placeholder. Click on Font Group placed on Home tab. Font dialog box gets open. Click on the font drop down arrow and select the desired font. Also click on Font Style and select the style. Then click on OK button of font dialog box. Click outside the placeholder. Changing the text size. Click the title placeholder once to get the insertion point inside. 
a triple click to select the entire text. Inside the title placeholder, click the font group placed on home tab. Click on font size drop down arrow. Choose font size. Click outside the placeholder. Applying shadow effects to the text. Click the title placeholder once to get the insertion point inside it. Triple click to select the entire text inside the title placeholder. Click the shadow button placed on font group. Click outside the placeholder. For changing the font color, click the title placeholder once to get the insertion point inside it. Triple click to select the entire text inside the title placeholder. Click on font group placed on home tab. Font dialog box gets open. Click on the font color button from the font dialog box. Click more colors button. Select the desired color. And then click on OK button. Then click on OK button of font dialog box. Click outside the placeholder. Adding new slides. Each slide in PowerPoint has a slide layout. Slide layouts contain formatting, positioning, and placeholders. For To add new slide, click on Home tab. From Slide group click on New Slide. Choose a slide layout. To save presentation, it is important to save your presentation. Whenever you start new project or make changes to an existing presentation, Following are the steps to save your presentation. Click on File tab. Backstage view will appear on screen. Click on Save as option. Click on Browse. To select a location, the Save as dialog box will appear. Select the location where you want to save the presentation. Enter file name for the presentation and then click on save button the presentation will be saved to open an existing presentation click on file tab backstage view will appear on screen click on open option click on browse the open dialog box will appear locate and select your presentation and then click on open button. The selected presentation will get open on your screen. To close presentation, click on file tab. Backstage view will appear on screen. Click on close option. Presentation will get closed. To exit from PowerPoint, click on Close button, placed on title bar of the PowerPoint application. PowerPoint will get closed. Thanks for watching this video.